Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. This last week was a busy week for me. As you know, I've done shopping, as you saw all the videos. So it was a lot of grocery shopping, a lot of girls clothes shopping, and I came home and I just like kept leaving the groceries. We put all the cold stuff away and the freezer stuff and I just kept sliding over the groceries to make room for wherever we had to go. So the groceries had set out for a long, like a couple days, not a long time, a couple days. And then I was like, you know what? This past weekend, I was like, I need to put all these away. So today's video is going to be a little mixture of a few days because we're actually gone on vacation for a few days. And you'll see that in tomorrow's video of what we ended up doing. But today is a little bit of putting away the groceries, stocking back up the pantry, stocking back up the freezers. And then I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning in there too, because you know, you got to clean on top of that all the time. <laughs> I feel like all the time you're cleaning constantly. So it's just gonna be a little mixture of getting everything done before our trip. So it's putting all the groceries away, getting the house cleaned up, getting things, you know, in order. And I've had pictures to hang up and I've got a calendar to hang up and all the good things that we have to do in a day. So I'm gonna bring you along. It's gonna be a great motivational Monday. Let's have a wonderful day getting everything done in the house. You guys ready? All right, let's go. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin.
All right, so this, it's just shoved in there, but snacks, 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 snacks. <laughs> and then my stuff that I need, pastas and that syrup, and then snacks, oh, snacks on top because that's where they store. This stuff is good right here. It's just all my canned stuff and right thing is all right there. So we are good to go. And then this cupboard, again, is good enough for me to know where everything's at. There's a place for everything and everything in its place for now until, you know, I have a big giant 20 foot square pantry, but I have what I have. So I'm gonna use what I got. Perfect.
doing good. I still have meat cooking here, so I'll have to come back and get that done. Refrigerator is all set and good and organized for now. Cut out some water bond for right now. Got this in here. And then in this freezer over here, what I did is I took all that um, like extra the case meat, I'm gonna call it, and put that all in here. So this is good for now. I have to put all my hamburger and stuff behind here, so I'll see how much I have to shove everywhere. And then that's a full freezer once again. Awesome, good. All stacked up in the bottom there. All these stacked up here once again and then up here stacked and wait for my toilet paper to arrive.
All right, getting the kitchen done, cleaning up, getting things set here. So I've got a pile of stuff that I've been getting from Amazon this week and I thought I'm gonna share with you guys all the good things. I've got my ice machine is on the floor over here because I did order a table for over there. So hopefully that will be here maybe this week or next week, but I've got a whole lot of pile of stuff. Like I got these on Amazon for my car. They are microfiber cloths because I was gonna take my car through a car wash, my new one. And then like in my head, I was like, Ugh, I feel like that's gonna damage that permix unit. I feel like it's gonna damage the paint job. <laughs> like my old one, I used it, and then like on the door, you could see the paint flecks come off. So you know, you wanna make it last a little bit longer. It's more work to wash in a home, but I'm like, you know what? We'll just do it. And then I had one of my viewers, Stacy. She's like, don't take it to the car wash. And I was like, all right, there's my confirmation. Don't take it to the car wash. So we've been washing it by hand, which has been good. And then I used the chamois cloth on it, and that worked for a little bit. Not my favorite. I like my good old-fashioned Norwex. These ones. Now this is a microfiber cloth. This is a Norwex microfiber cloth. So this is what I use. I love these. These are my favorite Norwex. Like a long time ago, my friend Heather sent me some of these when we first started because I use cleaner on the windows. And she's like, you, I'm gonna send you a window cloth. She sent me a window cloth and we just started cleaning with water. And I'm like, oh, genius. And then she sent some of these Enviro cloths and like, I was sold, 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 sold so much that I keep buying them. They're like, I'm gonna say they're like $20 a cloth, but you feel like it's a lot, but it lasts you forever. And I have used, I went back to like just using washcloths and then I'm like, I don't like that. Then I started using cleaner on the window and I'm like, I just don't like doing that. I'm like, they just do the job. And so wiping my car out, genius, so much better, but you don't wanna get any chemicals on it at all. Like no chemicals, so just natural. So in my car, like we use tire shine, things like that. So I thought I don't wanna use my good ones because like, you know, they're good. So I bought a pack of just cheapy ones on Amazon. I think it was 20 bucks for all of this. This will be a good car one. I like to wash the floor off, wash the mats off, clean the tires with all that good stuff. So this is gonna go in my, I don't know where I'm gonna stick it. Probably over here in my corner for my car cleaning stash. I did order some tire cleaner too, but that's not here. So the Norwex cloth. So I have these are my favorite. If you were to get Norwex, like I have some link below. And, um, you can use my friend Heather. She's awesome. And her cloths I love that hers. Norwex cloths are awesome. So if I say, people are always like, what do you get? I say, get yourself an Enviro cloth. Like this is what I live by. I try to get all gray. I do have a purple one because purple's nice. And actually Heather sent me one for my birthday. That's why I get all gray and just use them. I use them for my countertops. I just like them. They work good. I use them in my bathrooms. We have a, the teal one I use for like shower and sink. And then I have like the brownie one. We use that for the toilet. So brown means toilet, you know, that kind of thing. Love mine. Can't say enough. And then I said, get yourself one of these. It'll be a game changer. Cause like wiping off my refrigerator, my stove, my stainless steel. I don't have to use anything else, just that. And then um, this, this is a small one, but I do have bare ones of the window cloth. This would be like your next best thing because it cleans windows and mirrors. Amazing, with just water, just water, which is awesome. So we use this for our electronic devices, you know, to wipe off the TV, anything like that. So those things are amazing. Then my friend Barbara, Barbara, she's amazing. She's she's out here, and I guess been doing some prayer requests for her son and stuff on here. So she sent, she sends me little stuff from Texas. So she sent me a bunch of postcards, like for Texas chili, different Texas oil fields. So I thought this was really, really neat. The Texas steers. So these are neat. So this is like a good little learning thing for my kids to be able to, it's the Battle of the Alamo, learn about Texas a little bit. And then she said this game too, train of thought. We got this, we've been doing this at the table. This is a really good little fun, get your children speaking kind of game. And then Billy Graham, she sent these. These are, um, the book I was looking for is called Power for Living. That is like a pamphlet, but you, you can look online and see it. But these are great. These are devotionals, daily devotionals, which is awesome. So there's peace for each day and wisdom for each day. So these are great books. So I am excited to start these. I might even do these with the kids here around the table. So we got this, I want to have here. And then Angie, Angie LaForest, she sent me some beautiful earrings. Look at these. Those are so pretty and I love my hoops. So I am excited to wear those on my ears. So thank you, Angie, for those. Definitely praying for you too as you're going through things. So thank you so much. So we've got this other thing. We pull out this movie from the library, The Shaggy Dog to Watch. So we gotta watch that this week. Got some videos here on this. I'm just gonna wipe this up, open the windows because it's a beautiful day. Get some cool air flowing through the house. It's a great day.
Is there ever a coffee that smells bad? No, there's not. <laughs> These are so good. I'm gonna try this new one, Sequoia. I don't normally put stuff outside because of the pollen and all that stuff, but I am uh, i just don't want to use the dryer too much because it does heat up the house. So I'm gonna put the towels outside in the jeans because those take a long time. So now I'm gonna go in and go clean, I think my bathroom, I think that'll be next.
Okay, you saw me do a new steam mop, so this is not a sponsored video at all. This is something I got on Amazon. I love my old steam mop and I use it and I, I still think it's a great mop. Like I share with it, I tell you guys about it, it's great. It's just that I still was taking the head. Like when I had my Norex one, I liked it, but I was still pushing on the head to kind of scrub the floor to get off like, you know, to cake down food. And so with my other steam mop, you could go over it a bunch of times and it just took long. So if I'm gonna push on it, it would take care of that. So I thought about getting one that's like cleaned and did it for you. So I found this one on Amazon. So we will see how it works, but it works like it's cleaning it. It's, it reminds me of the old school, like when you were in um, <laughs> elementary school and the, the janitor came by with the spinning ground, the floor mop or whatever. Remember that thing? Yeah, that's how it reminds me of because when you turn it on, it's like that. So it takes, you turn it on and it sits here for a minute till it heats up. So it spins. So it's spinning in place right now as it heats up. So it takes like 40 seconds or 45 seconds to steam, spin up, to heat up, but then it steam, the steam comes up. And what I like about this is my other one, the steam is on the bottom, which is great, but the floor was really wet for a while. So this one, the steam comes out the front of it and sprays out the front. So as you're steam mopping, you just go ahead and go forward with it and it washes the floor in the front. So it doesn't get really soaked, it actually dries pretty quick. So that's that's the perk on it and it's like scrubs it. So like I'm pushing it right now, but it's not doing anything because it's uh it hasn't got the steaming process. You do, okay, so this leaves no residue on the ground. That's what it said on here on the thing too. And I'm like, that's so true, but it just, you know what it is? It helps that you don't have to like push and scrub the floor. It just scrubs the floor for you. So the key, let me see. Let's put on my countertop here. It's a little heavier. Whoa. Yeah, the steam comes up the front. So the bottom, these are the pads. So with the white ones, you can see how dirty they are. They're smart, they make them gray. So when you look, you don't go, Ew, that's disgusting, but they just come off and they can be washed. Just another option for steam ups. It spins, it's a little bit easier, it's a lot heavier, so if you gotta worry about lifting something that's heavier, it's definitely heavier than a regular, like the other steam up I have, but it spins, which is kind of nice. My floor feels good. Like usually it's a little wet, it leaves some streaks on it, especially if you're doing like floors you shouldn't do, like your laminate floor. Don't do it, don't do it, but it does leave streaks, so this kind of, it doesn't, because I did that in my bedroom there, so not bad. So I'll link this one below. I always like to share with you guys something. Is it good? I know that there's another one, um, a name brand one, and it's a lot more expensive. So, but I mean, cleans the floor. My floor feels good. My feet are clean. It's good. All right, steam mopping is done. I get my chairs done. My day is rolling good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna work a little bit editing. <laughs> I have to laugh. I love, remember I got this, the bean salad, the three bean salad, and I was like, am I turning into my mom? Because I remember my mom used to eat this all the time. Now that I'm getting older, I like this. This is very, very good. I know you can make it super cheap. I probably will if I uh, find that I like a lot of this. So I'm gonna edit for a little bit and try to get ahead of my day here because it's gonna get later and later. All right, so I just filmed, don't mind mixing, she's growling here. Got my door wide open, looking at us, nice and windy. It's a beautiful day outside, so nice and breezy. Towels are blown, so I had to hang them back up. Finished my Abundantly Blessed. It's been a good day today, so I think, I'm gonna close today's video. I was gonna make food, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to. We are gonna make those pizzas. Remember that pizza? crust that I got at Sam's Club, that four pack, I think that is gonna be dinner tonight. So I'm actually gonna just finish up today because I have a lot of things to get together. Packing, last minute things, all those things we have to do to get out the door before we go on our little vacation. So I'll bring the camera along, show you all the fun things we're gonna do. It's gonna be a great time. So have a beautiful, fantastic rest of your day. Remember you are designed, you are created, and you are selected by God to do great things on this earth. And once you walk in those paths that he has you and you start focusing on the things he has for you, those good things, and you just keep walking in it and doing it and doing it. It's like an amazing, amazing adventure. That strength comes from the Lord and you walk in it and it's just like, oh, 
it's good. It really, really is a good thing. So have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.